Okay, so in the given figure, two circles touch each other at point P. AB is the direct common tangent of these circles. With these given conditions, we have to prove that the tangent at point P bisects AB. Right, so let us first of all construct that tangent at P. Let us say this is my tangent at P. Right, okay. So now we have to prove that this tangent is bisecting AB. So let us take this intersection point at C. So basically we have to now prove that AC is equal to BC. This is our target to prove. Okay. So now what can we do? We can just change the way we are looking at this figure. Right. If you concentrate on just point C, so now from point C, if you look at circle with center O, then you can see two different tangents. You can see the tangent CA, right? And also you can see the tangent CP. And these are originating from the same point. So we, we can apply the theorem that tangents from external point are of equal length, right? So this will give us the length CA is equal to CP. CA is equal to CP, right? Now again, concentrate on point C, but now go to the circle with center O dash. So if you look at this figure, then again, you will see two different tangents from point C to the same circle with center O dash. One is CP and other is CB. So again, using the same theorem that tangents are of equal length from the external point, we will get CP is equal to CB. So if these two equations are given to you, you can directly conclude that if these two equations are correct, then CA should be equal to CB. And this should give us our original result to prove, right? Let us move to the second part of this question, we have to prove that angle APB, APB, this is angle APB. We have to prove that this is 90 degrees, right? To do that, let us consider something like this. Okay, so s if you look at triangle, triangle ACP, in triangle ACP, your angle CAP and angle C, P, A are of equal length. Angle C, A, P is equal to angle C, P, A. Correct. Now look at triangle C, B, P. C, P, B. Okay. In triangle C, P, B, again, two sides are equal, which means that this is as well as triangle. So again, we can write that angle CBP is equal to angle CPB, right? These two angles are equal, right? Now again, take another triangle, which is visible to us, combination of these two triangles. So this will give us triangle ABP. In this big triangle ABP, let us write, let us write the angle sum property. So using angle sum property, I can write something like this angle PAB plus angle PBA plus angle APB is equal to 180 degrees, right? APB is what we have to calculate. So we should not change this in this particular equation, right? But now let us look at this sum PAB plus PBA. PAB, which means this angle and PBA. Now, since this red dot is same as this red dot and this green dot is same as this green dot, right? Can I replace PAB? PAB with CPA, correct? And similarly, I can replace PBA with CPB. So now the combination will become what? Combination will become this complete angle, 
this complete angle APB but we already have APB here and this is also angle APB measure wise correct so we have two times of angle APB and the sum is equal to 180 degrees which means that our angle APB alone should be equal to 90 degrees